fly ball. Wall tagged this time, and Junior going back to the track. The wall makes the leap and makes the catch. Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home run away from Luis Gonzalez. My, oh my. Perfect timing, and Junior receiving a standing ovation here. Drake delivers as a drive to right field, hit deep, back by the bullpen gate, it goes, and it is gone! Stubbs the right field that jumped and couldn't get it, just to the right of the 380 foot marker, David Ortiz ties Mickey Mantle with his 536th home run, 10-2 Red Sox. That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another, touch him off! Nice shot there of the nighttime skies over SunTrust Park. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Jaime Garcia, Mexican-born lefty, is the man on the mound in this one. HR, what's the word on him? Well, he's going for that coveted 30th start today. When pitchers go to spring training, they hope they're healthy enough to get 30 starts. That tells them they've had a pretty good year. So he's had a solid season with this 30th start in this ballgame. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Line drive to center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. And now a chance to meet the Mets. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Matt, this is a team after my heart. They lead the league in stolen bases. Look out, they're going to come at you running. They're going to run to first if they walk. They're going to steal second if it's sitting out there. They just run. I'm excited to watch them play. Coming to the plate now, T.J. Rivera. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Temperature here at the park tonight, a comfy 72 degrees at first pitch. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The 2-2 one more time. Line towards center field. Inciarte is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. And we're just underway from Sun Trust Park. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. In order, go the Mets. Mets zero. Braves coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Steven Matz, a left-hander from New York State, is the starter on the mound. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, he has got an excellent strikeout to walk ratio. He's dominating hitters. He doesn't walk guys. He's around the plate. And that number alone just tells me his stuff is dominating and hitters can't catch up to it. Let's watch him execute in this game. Here's Ender Inciarte. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. One and two, here it comes. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. And time now to take a look at how these Braves are lined up in this one. How do they get back into the win column here, Harold? Well, Matt, the bats have just gone cold. There's no other way to put it. I mean, the last three or four games, they've really struggled to score runs. I'm interested in seeing how do they turn that around in this game because the nucleus of this club and this lineup, they should be scoring runs. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. This is in the air out to right field. 
Cespedes is there, two down. Batting third. Ready Next now, one. Freddie Freeman Ready. comes into play with a batting Freeman. average in the respectable 270s. Here's the one and one pitch. One and two. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there. And even though this is a swing and a miss, that retires the side, and that will do it. Down in order go the Braves. Still no score. Here's Joanna Cespedes. And as the season nears an end, he currently leads the league and runs batted in. And he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder. It's two and two. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. Well, as you know, Matt, most people in the game call him Patty. In the past, I've seen a couple of pitchers wonder where they miss, but he usually rewards them for making good pitches. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. A payoff pitch one more time. Hit on the ground out to short. Swanson brings it in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Braves. And at first base, Freddie Freeman. Freddie can pick it, man. Throw the ball in the dirt. Freddie's coming up with it. And don't be surprised he does the splits on you every now and then. Striding in, Wilmer Flores. The head-to-head -head line against Garcia, a three-for-seven line. He also has one home run. And he lays off a pitch down and away, ball two. H, these Braves as they take the field here tonight, they come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Matt, when you're on a struggling team, you always look around and say, this is win night. We got the ace on the mound. I don't care how poor you're playing. When your ace is thrown, you feel like you got a chance to win that game. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. That's a strong hitter right there. Slider in on his hands, and he still is able to six. muscle it Third out baseman, far enough five. for a base hit. David Wright. In now, David Wright. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. So another stolen base there. This definitely is a team that's used their wheels to full advantage all season long as we check out the league leaderboard for stolen bases. And you can see that the Mets are currently best in the senior circuit in that category. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Markakis. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A two-run homer for David Wright, making it an even 250 for his career as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Into the box now, Travis Darno. Yeah. In for strike two. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hit hard to short. Swanson picks it up. Throw in time at first for route number two. Here's Juan Lagares, the head to head line against Garcia, batting 500, four for eight. Here it comes on one and one. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Here's the one and two delivery. 
Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. Here he comes again, 1-2. Swing and a shot back up the middle. That gets down, and the inning continues. So good work on a one and two count to get on base. Well, Matt, that's the sixth game. He's got a base hit in. Now you got to start a streak somewhere. I start paying attention about six games. He's swinging about pretty good. At the plate, Stephen Matz. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Garcia ready, the one two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Bonifacio has got it, and the side is retired. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now two nothing, New York. Digging in, Matt Kemp. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Out in front a bit as this is sent on the ground to right at third. Throw on to first in time, one away. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And in the outfield, Joanna Cespedes, this guy's got maybe the best arm in all of baseball. Seems like every time there's a big moment or a big play, he comes up gunning and he's gunning guys at the plate. He is so fun to watch throw. Adonis Garcia digs in now. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz, just three for 14. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But man, that's a nasty snap. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. A solo shot here to left. Number 14 on the season. And the Braves have struck for a run. It's now a two to one game. He got a curveball, and that's the one pitch. If you catch it right, it is tailored to go out of the ballpark. It gets that little loop to you. You take the swing up on it, like he did right here, and that ball travels out of the park. Stepping in now, Nick Markakis. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't fighting. Very well could see it again here, though. Breaking ball somehow misses the outside. Two and two. Hard ground ball to third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. Well, he fell behind 0 2, and this is really the personality of who he is. He didn't give up. He continued to fight and gets a base hit when he gets the 2 2 count. Into the box, Kurt Suzuki. Oh, and he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Line drive to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Well, you're not always going to hit the good pitches. You hit the mistakes. And that one hung up there, a mistake. Nice piece of hitting. Standing in now, Emilio Bonifacio. 1-1 one, one pitch, a curveball that's right there. One ball, two strikes. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. 
And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. The cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Now the throw comes in to hold that second runner at third, so they're at the corners now with still only one away. I mean, Garcia. Into the box now, Jaime Garcia. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. The tag, and he's out at the plate. Sort of a daring move there going for the plate, but it didn't pay off. It was hit softly, but it gets scooped up quickly and fired home on target. Ideally, you want to go home like that on a ball that's hit beyond the pitcher's mound. In now, Ender Inciarte. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw on to first, and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Ready for another chance? Jose Reyes, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 0-2 from Garcia. Right back at him, but I think it got his glove. Recovery throw is not in time, and that'll go down as a painful single. Now batting. The and that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's gonna go. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Reyes, the runner at first with nobody out. Lays off two and two now. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off, even if you know it's coming. Look, two strike slider on the back foot. That's a classic pitch, but he did a nice job of laying off it. Working for the punch out and the offering. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. Well, Matt, clearly that was a hit and run. The runner was off on the swing, and he drives the ball so the hard in the outfield, they couldn't advance it. Michael Conforto. Into the box, Michael Conforto. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And it's gone! So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Number 23 for him thus far. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. Stepping in now, Yoenis Cespedes. Outside, two and one. Well, he clearly read the scouting report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching him. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd, foul. Well, that was an impressive swing. A fastball, he's able to hit a foul ball home run with it, but he got out in front of it a little bit too much. Timing just a tad off. Throw on to first, and they're finally able to get on the board here. There's one away. So one well, gone now as we four. give you a look at where Second these two teams three. find themselves no entering play right. in the National League's Eastern Division race. Digging in for his second at bat, Wilmer Flores. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. 
And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. You know what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. And a 2 1 slider is looked at for a called strike two. Three runs already home here. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Waiting in the on deck circle is David Wright. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. And Ciarte's there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The third baseman, number five. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. And remember, he hit that two run homer his first time up. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now a swing and another fly ball here as things are getting busy out there in Central. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. But the Mets strike for three, all coming courtesy of this three-run home run. Bottom of the third coming up. Now 5-2 New York. Matt Vaskersian, Harold Reynolds, and Dan Plezak, the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson, is the first to bat in the inning. Line hard into left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. The first baseman, number five. Striding in once again, Freeman. Freddie Freeman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Here's the one and two delivery. Hard sinker misses two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Smoke toward the hole. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Well, he executes the sinker, but the batter put the ball in play, and sometimes you just find a hole. Tough right break for the pitch. Standing in now, Matt Kemp. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Runner at first here, one man out. Hit hard down the line, and that gets through for a one-out base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. And he'll reach second now with one away. Man, it looked like the pitcher was trying to get him to go fishing at a pitch out of the strike zone. He went for it all right, but he managed to catch all of that baseball, lacing it for a double in the outfield. That's a great piece of hitting. In now, Adonis Garcia. Oh, looked like he was towing an anchor there, one and two. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. You got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit it. So it was a strikeout looking there. Adonis Garcia becomes out number two this inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nick Markakis. Two men are in scoring position for him, so he'll look to make this a one-run game with a base hit here. Ligares is under it, and the inning is over. Two left for Atlanta. They trail 5-2. Digging in to try it again, Travis Darno comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ball two. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The relay, and he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Yeah. 
Into the box, Juan Ligares. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Kemp has a read on it. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. Throw won't get him. Now batting. Catcher. Steven Stepping into the Mats. box, Steven Matz. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a liner. But unfortunately, right after shortstop for the second out. But no, he'll put on the brakes and head back to third. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. One for two on his line so far in the game. From the belt, kicks and deals. Line toward right center. And that gets down as he can't get there in time. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's now six to two. Oh, well, two out base hits. First That's how you win championships. The teams that come up with the big clutch hits, they usually win. Stepping in now. T.J. Rivera. This is flared out towards second. And this is taken for the out. Mets play to run on a couple of hits. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Mets six and the Braves two. So striding in, Kurt Suzuki. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Here it comes on one and one. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. That is what every hitting coach in the game teaches you to do. Don't ever try and do too much with a pitch. Just use the whole field and go with the pitch wherever you can. Pushes it down the line and it bounces over for a ground rule double. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Back goes Ligaris. Gone! Two-run shot to left center. Third home run for him on the year. And they cut the gap here. It's now 6-4. to four. You think it's easy to be a pitcher at this level? Well, when the number eight hitter takes you deep, you know there's no such thing as an easy out. Into the box now, Jaime Garcia. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Number 11. Ready once again, Ender Inciarte. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Both teams with eight hits in this one. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets' bullpen. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. In there, a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Ready for another shot now. Dansby Swanson. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. He's set. Here's the 3-0. A changeup over the inside corner. Four runs, nine hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Runner breaks for third. Which is a cold strike. The th it's on a dime to right, and he is out trying to steal third. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Sinker misses. Ball four. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Might have been just out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch, so sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. Sent on the ground out to second. 
And Freeman's aboard. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, sometimes you got to just get lucky. He got out in front, hooked it, and just found a hole. In now, Matt Kemp. Swing and a ball hit deep down the left field line, but that'll be a loud foul ball. Another 1-2 delivery to two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt, but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Hit back up the middle, and that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And he will score on a close play at the plate, and that'll make it a little more interesting now. It's 6-5. to five. Oh, ground ball up the Third middle. That's going to score 13. a run right there. That's a nice job of just staying up the middle, not trying to pull a ball or get out in front. Just stay up the middle, and it paid off. And now here comes Met skipper Terry Collins out to home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Rafael Montero is into the ball game as part of that double switch as he'll take over on the mound and in the two spot in the lineup. Gavin Cicchini will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Into the box, Adonis Garcia. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We're through four. It's the Mets six and the Braves five. Now at the plate, Michael Conforto. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Tough slider down low for a strike. Garcia ready, the 1 2. Hits this one hard the other way. Played on the backhand. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Offense apparently not hard to come by tonight as you get a look at our line score through the first half of the ball game. And boy, the runs have been coming fast and furious so far. Here's Yuan Cespedes. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Cespedes takes ball four there, and he'll head down to first. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Here comes the Braves manager out as he'll take that slow walk toward the mound. And that is going to spell the end for starter Jaime Garcia. John Banks. It's going to take over here in inning number five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Wilmer Flores will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Here's the one and one pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Shot back up the middle. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Stepping in now, David Wright. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. 
you can see it from that high fastball but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Oh and not an easy pitch to lay off of but he did somehow and he's got it to three and one. And remember here there's an open base at first so a walk is not the worst thing that could happen right here. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Back to back changeups and fouled that one off right there. I don't think he's going to come back with the third one. I got to be thinking some other pitch is coming. Here comes the payoff pitch on a rope to the second baseman. Up next for the Mets. Digging Captain. in and looking for more. Travis, Travis Darno. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. On the ground up the middle. On the first and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets as it remains a 6-5 ball game. Now at the plate Nick Markakis a hit in two tries so far. Here's the one and one pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left but back in the seats out of play it's one and two hit in the air to center field Ligares is under it one out digging in once again Kurt Suzuki he's got a couple of doubles thus far so we'll see if he can keep it up from the windup the one one pitch out of play. Swing and a liner, but this will be foul. Five runs, 11 hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that, but most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss, and another strikeout. Into the box now, Emilio Bonifacio. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full, three and two. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Fly ball into straightaway left. Conforto has a read on it, and that retires the side. Braves are set down one, two, three. Still a tight ball game, it's six to five. Here's Juan Ligares. He's one for two in the ball game. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Catch made out there by Kemp, and there's one gone. First baseman number two. Stepping up Gavin to the plate, Chikini. Gavin Cicchini. He's getting his first plate appearance of the game here in the sixth. Now some action in the Braves' bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Shortstop Here's the shortstop seven. now, Jose Reyes. 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 Two hits and three at bats for him in this one. Wait. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Well, that's his third hit of the night, and are you surprised? That's three singles. Now sits three for four with three singles. Not a bad night. In now, Rafael Montero. Now a bunt attempt here. Uh, this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Oh no, that screaming comebacker nailed him. 
no play as the run comes in to score and we're all hoping he's going to be OK on the mound. Ready for another shot now Michael Conforto he was retired via the ground ball last time up runners are at first and second with one away. Now a ball hit high down the left field line but back in amongst the spectators foul. A ball and two strikes here's the pitch. This is pulled into right but he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out and no tag at second he'll head back there with two away now. Here's your one assessment. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Line to the right side. But a little unlucky there as it's hit right to him in right field for the final out of the inning. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. The Mets lead this one 7-5. to five. Tyler, Tyler Flowers is going to come off the bench the as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Tyler Flowers. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Hey, any time a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Into the box, Ender Inciarte. Just a touch inside, perhaps. It's two and one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. The batter number seven shortstop. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. Lined into center field. That's a base hit. So that'll extend the inning and let Freddie Freeman come to the plate. The first baseman, Here's the first five. baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie He's two Freeman. for three thus far. Looks like a left hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Brave strand one. They're down seven to five. Back here at SunTrust Park, getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher set to take over the hard throwing right hander Blaine Boyer. Blaine Boyer. Digging in to try it again. Wilmer Flores. Lifetime in this matchup. One for four. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, that two-seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off-speed pitch. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. Oh, he hits a little dying quail behind the infielder. I tell you what, he couldn't have thrown that ball any better. Talk about placement. That was perfect. David Wright will dig in again and as he does we'll flash you back to inning number two which you get a look at his two run homer that was a big blow early on. Here's the one one. A fastball that just misses inside. Come on, I'm 
Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. This is line to left. Marcakis has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting. Patrick. Stepping in and ready Travis for another shot, Darneau. Travis Darno. He was a ground out victim last time up. Now the 0 2 pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. The one and two pitch. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Here's Juan Ligares. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One and one, here it comes. And that's through into center field, base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Whoa, that ball was close, whizzed right two. by his head. I yeah, think he man. probably heard it go by, guys. That's pretty unsettling for a pitcher. Trust me, I know. Stepping in now, Gavin Cicchini. This is skied out toward right. Kemp has a read on it. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, Short but stop, you can't be seven. too upset with okay. the sack fly. Digging in and looking for more, Jose Reyes. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. Looking to minimize the damage here. Hard hit ball to second. And this is going to be his fourth hit of the game as this should wind up as extra bases. The runner scores from second. Ligaris is on his way home. And he will score as well. And that's a big at bat there as they've broken this one wide open. Well, you just keep adding on. That's how you win Rafael games. And he's a big part of it right here. That's his third RBI, and they extend the lead in this ball game. Into the box now, Rafael Montero. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Well, this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him, but he's still out there. And it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done, though. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Swanson scoops it up. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. It's the Mets 10 and the Braves 5. So here's Matt Kemp now. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Now Kemp swings and sends a high fly ball with good carry out to deep left field. Gone to lead off the inning. It's a solo shot here for Matt Kemp. 24 home runs for him on the season as they've cut this deficit down to four. Take a look at it on replay. You can see this thing was gone from the second it left his bat. A thunderous shot that dang near gave the pitcher a little whiplash. Challenged him with a fastball and lost big time. In now, Adonis Garcia. And he looks at one in there, one and two. No outs, nobody on. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. 
And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. For me, check swings are right there next to Bang Bang Place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Standing in now, Nick Markakis. He grounds it sharply to third. On to first, and Markakis is retired two away. The catcher, number 24, Kurt. Suzuki ready once again Kurt Suzuki he's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point he's ready with the 2 2 pitch swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory and this is going to wind up a foul ball and another foul ball Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. I got to commend him for being a really tough out right now. Not everyone will battle like this. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. But the Braves are able to get one back on the solo homer. We'll march on to the eighth. It's the Mets 10 and the Braves 6. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Chaz Roan is in out of the These bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the now number six spot following spot. the double switch. Number 51. Sean Rodriguez Chaz. is into the ball game as well as he'll slide now into the pitcher's Mike spot, hitting ninth now on the double number switch. 15, Sean Rodriguez. Here's the one and one pitch. A high fastball is in there. Now the pitch. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. Reined in. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Sometimes we use the phrase runs coming at a premium, but it's fair to say that none of us will be saying that tonight as we check out our line score. Neither pitching staff has really even showed up. At the plate, Joannis Cespedes. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Cespedes will turn for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. Cutting it close here, Bill but he comes through four. in the eighth Second to extend eighth his hitting streak. Wilmer yeah, come on, Morris. man. Eighth inning. He was getting me nervous. This looked like this might be his last at bat and his last opportunity. Into the box, Wilmer Flores. Soft liner to the right side, and that's through into right field for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Baseman, Didn't try to do five. too much with it. David Two Wright. strikes on him. He just fights it off and flips it into right field. Stepping in now, David Wright lined into right field, and it's going to get down. A base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Well, Matt, he's homered in this game. Drives in a run right there. It's his third RBI of the ball now game. Matty. He's doing his Captain. part. Travis Darno. Digging in once again, Travis Darno. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they can get out of this jam, though. 
And able to lay off the fastball the way here. Two and one now. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself in bad counts. Grounded back up the middle. Throw will be the first for the second out, but meanwhile, another run is in to score. Probably wanted more out of that at bat with runners in scoring position, but at least he does the job and brings one home. Maybe the next guy can pick up the runner at third now. A man on third with two down. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Mm -hmm. Just reached back and threw a high fastball right by him. He didn't stand a chance. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Kemp has a read on it. And that retires the side. So it's two runs on three hits. No errors and a runner left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Mets out in front. 12 to six. Here's Emilio Bonifacio now. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And here's a slider. Strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. Well you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Into the box now Sean Rodriguez looped out towards short and the throw gets him at first on as fine a play in the hole as you're ever likely to see two away now. Ender. Inciarte. Striding in once again, Ender Inciarte. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Now the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Down in order go the Braves. Deficit holds steady at 12 to 6. Jim Johnson comes on to work now, now and he's the their brain. usual closer Number but this 53. is obviously not a save Jim opportunity. Johnson. Yeah this is all about just getting him some work guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. His lifetime numbers against Jim Johnson. He's gone two for eight. The 1-1 one -one pitch. The big curveball just misses apparently ball two and think about it. in game one of this series they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Heavy sinker just stayed inside. Well he walked the first bat of the inning now he finds himself down 3 1 count. I'll tell you what he's been danger right here. Got to throw strikes and get back in this thing because walking and bad counts adds up to a big inning for the offense. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. And a good throw gets him one gone. The batter, Petra, Rafael Montero. Matt Reynolds will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch it now with one away. Breaking ball just misses the inside corner. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. And he'll dive back in. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. 
Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. You know, I think that curveball in the previous pitch had him thinking about getting another one because there's no reason he shouldn't have had a big rip at that fastball. That was right in every hitter's happy zone. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Catch made out there in right center as the runner will tag from second. The relay throw, and he'll go ahead and take third on the fly ball to right, so he's 90 feet away now with two men gone. He is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Your Seth Lugo please. comes on to start the inning, and he'll have a huge lead to work with. Seth Lugo. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Ready on one and two. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there. The straight changeup. He hadn't five. used it yet in this at Ray bat, and what does he do? Raymond. He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. In now, Freddie Freeman. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Here's the one and two delivery. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Boy, and he just won't go away as he fights off another pitch and hits it foul right at the plate. That was a fourth foul ball in this at bat. He is really making him work. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Standing in now, Matt Kemp. Swing and a liner. Foul. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. And there's one that misses to Kemp as he works it back to two and two. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Shot to third, and he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. Well, this game had its moments, but it got out of hand pretty quick. Always nice when you could coast to a six-run win. Save your closer for another day and let everyone in on the action. 12 to 6, the final tally here. The New York Mets post road win number 40 on the year. Rafael Montero earns his third win of the year in relief. Jaime Garcia permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, four hours and 18 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of SunTrust Park, we'd like to thank you for attending. Ground ball to short. This should end it. Lindor sets. He throws. And the Cleveland Indians of 2016 have set the franchise record with their 14th consecutive win. And oh, baby, did they earn it going 19 innings north of the border. You're not kidding. They certainly earned it. That's a comfort, too. And it only took six hours and 13 minutes. Malone looking for his first hit of the year.